Hello again and welcome to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is day number three of my 21 days of strength challenge. A brand new workout every day for 21 days up until my 37th birthday on the 21st of September. So today's focus is chest. We're gonna get really chesty. We've got five exercises. I am using a bench. You can actually do the exercises from the floor as well. Um, you can't get as much of a stretch in the actual exercise, but you, you can still adapt it if you wanna do it on a mat on the floor. So I'm using a bench. I've got three pairs of dumbbells. I've got a light set. We're gonna do kind of an activation exercise just to like warm up our pecs and get them activated. And then I've got a medium set, which is 16 kilograms and a heavy set of 20, 22 kilograms. But again, choose a weight that's suitable for you. It's about you taking it at your pace. Um, we're gonna have nice long rests in between and we're really focusing on strength. So the first move, imagine we're on like a cable machine. You know, we sort of do a cable pull like this. We're gonna squeeze. We're gonna do it seat seated. And what I'm gonna try and do is sort of lean back slightly, squeeze the dumbbells together and then lift up. So what this does, it really activates your pecs. So we start the big moves, we're gonna feel them already engaged, ready? So lift, squeeze together, and up. So that's one rep, we're gonna do 10, sorry, 15 reps on this, one, two, so stretch, lift, three, so just head on, you can see. So come forwards, squeeze them together, lift up a couple of inches. Already lost count, four, squeeze, five, so we're doing 15 of these, two sets. Six. Oh, I'm terrible at counting. Seven. So slightly lean back, feel the stretch. Come up, squeeze them together, and then lift. You're gonna fire up your pecs now. Oh, I can really feel this. These are five kilograms, and this feels really heavy. Okay, last three reps, I think I've done 15. So squeeze, dumbbells together, and then up. Last two reps. Final one, stretch the pecs, come up, squeeze together, lift, and rest. So, yeah, that really fires up your chest straight away. So that's just a nice little way to activate um, the pecs before we go into the sort of heavier pressing moves. So we've got a few pressing exercises. We've got a fly, so we're gonna stretch the chest open. We're gonna target the pecs today, yeah? So I'm gonna try and break up the workouts into different uh, sort of body parts. So obviously we started with um, back and uh, biceps and triceps. Day two is legs, and now obviously this is chest. Tomorrow I'm gonna do back and shoulders. So a lot of pressing, a lot of pulling, working all the muscles, and then we'll um, try and incorporate some abs as well and some sort of core exercises through the challenge. But I'm trying to just keep fit for this month. Um, no baby yet, I am filming this um, a day ahead, so it's actually uh, the second today, but I'm sharing it. I'm filming it one day ahead, so I can share it on time with you, right? So, we're gonna go again. So we're gonna pick up these dumbbells, lean back slightly, think about stretching the chest, lift them up, squeeze them together, physically connect the dumbbell, and then from there, lift and down. Let's go, 15 is one. Two, slow and controlled. Three, feel those pecs work as you engage the dumbbells together. Four, I'm losing count already, I think that's four. I can't talk and count. Five, doing 15 of these, this is the last set. Six, seven, really squeeze those dumbbells together. And then lift. Eight. Squeeze. Lift. Nine. Come on, well, I can really feel this. Ten. Five to go. Eleven. Twelve. Ah. Three more. That's the hard bit at the end, that squeeze and that little lift. 14, final rep. Stretch, lift, squeeze together, raise up. Oh, cool, I feel that. Right, let me get these out of the way. 
don't need them anymore. So I said that was our kind of first sort of isolation exercise just to really activate the muscle. Now we're going to do some heavy pressing. So I'm going to go with the big ones now. So I've got 22 kilograms. We're going to do 10 to 12 reps and it's three sets. So 10 to 12 reps. We stop, put the dumbbells down, have a good break, minute, minute and a half rest, and then we're gonna do three sets. Yeah, I can really feel that. That's really pumped. It's almost like a cable machine if you think about the exercise. Just squeezing the pecs together and then lifting slightly. Really activates, you can feel it. Right, so time for the heavy dumbbells now. So I'm obviously flat bench, you could, you could do an incline or decline bench, but I like just keeping it flat for this one. Um, and I'll quickly demonstrate the technique, because you don't want to be flaring your elbows out too much and working the shoulder, you want to try and really focus on the chest, so let me just demo quickly. Right, so yeah, if you don't want to be flaring the elbows really wide like this, you don't want them tucked in completely like this. Just, I always go at a sort of 45 degree angle, so I keep the dumbbells bent at a 45 degree angle to the body, in line with the chest, and from there, press, dumbbells meet, so slowly down, in line with the chest, and press, okay, so that's, that's our move. So slow and controlled, try not to let it come back towards your head, keep the dumbbells like really in line with your chest, okay, so really think about squeeze, the muscle as well, because it's very easy to put it on the shoulders and not feel the pecs. So here we go, 10 to 12 reps, heavy weight. Okay, so ready? In line with the chest, we lower and press. Excellent, that's one rep. Go at this nice slow tempo. Two, we're trying to build strength, so we're not rushing these moves. Three, four, these are heavy for me, five, six, seven, really squeeze the pecs, I think ten is my number here, eight, okay, two more, Nine. Last rep for me. Ah, yeah, that's that's heavy for me. At that at that tempo, that was hard. I didn't have twelve in me there. No chance. So I'm happy with a ten. We need a good rest now. You can't pick them up too quick. And um, I, might, I might even find myself struggling with ten there, but. Again, it's about having a good bit of recovery now. So I could obviously, you know, go faster, um, do a few more reps, but I, I like controlling the move on the, the eccentric to the lowering phase. Pause for a second and press. You're not like bouncing out of it, so there's no, there's no cheating with that. But yeah, that is heavy. I wanted to, I wanted to push myself. So we've got two more sets of that, and then we're using the lighter weight to do a dumbbell fly where well, you really stretch the pec open and you squeeze in so rather than pressing we're flying opening out a little bit getting a good stretch and for that you wanted a much lighter set than what you press right so if the weights felt too light or too heavy you can adjust them now um, and yeah just go at that tempo try and keep it slow and as i said you'll find your body will always try and find the easier way it tries to cheat right so when you're like up here and your hands are sort of close towards you you see, and especially when your arms come wide, it feels easier because it is easier because it's, it's your body taking easier route, but it's mainly working on deltoids. And so, so get the chest working. Like, don't bring the dumbbells back like this. Keep them in line with the chest, and when they come down, the angles like that, it's almost right on the chest. And from there, drive shoulder blades into the bench or, or the floor, and squeeze. And actively like squeeze. Like imagine trying to clench your pecs at the top, trying to sort of squeeze that in between the middle of them. Right, okay, I think I'm ready for the second set. 
You, when you're strength training, you do need longer reps. You can't be doing 30 seconds of rest. You know, not when you're going to that kind of failure on that almost. So here we go, second set. Second set. I'm hoping for 10 reps again. That's the end, here we go. You ready? Load the chest, think about the muscles now. So stretch, draw a shoulder blades into the vent, and up one. Two, keep the chest loaded. Three, big push, come on. Four, this is hard. Five, come on. Six, I can do ten. I can do ten, come on. Did it before. Come on, seven. It's hard, heavy. Come on, push it. Push, push, push. Eight, two more. Nine, last rep. Yeah, that is me. Ah, oh, that is really heavy. Oh, that was me maxed out there. See, when you got someone to spot you, you could you could do an extra an extra rep or two, but it's hard on your own on a bench. Whew. All right, so that's two sets complete. Oh, we're gonna go again. So as I said, you can. You can find an easy way, but it's always important to just find the muscle. I like think activate, like consciously think, right, what muscle I'm trying to use? Is it my, am I only feeling it in my shoulders? Am I feeling it in my pecs? And that way you connect with the muscle and you can actually squeeze the muscle trying to work. So I've got one more set. I need more rest. And that's the end of those heavy ones for me, I think. So I hope you enjoyed the challenge. If you are, please share it you know, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, Twitter, let your friends and family know what's happening. Uh, because it's like a brand new workout every single day for 21 days. And um, yeah, anyone can take part. I mean, obviously these are heavier, you can do lighter weights. Um, most of them can be done just with two pairs of dumbbells and a bench if you've got one. Right, so another, another 30 seconds and we'll do our third set. I am feeling that. And then we're going to go into the, the dumbbell fly, which again really opens up the chest, stretches it, and then squeezes in. Oh, okay. Ready for the first set? We got it in us? I think we have. I think we have, right. I think 10 is going to be a real push for me, but if we can get eight, eight to 10, I'll be happy with. Okay. Here we go. So dumbbells carefully up. Give your hands a little dry if they're sweaty. Okay, right, I can do this. I've done, I've done it twice, here we go. <sighs> Don't count that first one either, that's a little roll up. Right, here we go, 10 reps. So stretch the chest, feel the stretch, and press directly above there, in line with the chest. So what I mean by bad is if I'm here, look, right here, like that's much more shoulders. I wanna be here, so I'm in line with the pecs. Hit almost hit the dumbbells, hit the pecs, press up. Oh, I think that's five reps, five more. Six. Seven, come on, three more. Eight. Come on. Ah, nine, last rep, big rep. Come on, strength. Get it up, Joe. Ah, that was hard. That was very hard for me, that last one. Oh. Right. Oh. That's three heavy sets. We're now gonna go on to a slightly lighter, well, a lot lighter. I've gone from, I'm going from 22s to 16s. 
So I'm dropping it down a lot. I'm gonna go for a, a pet fly now, yeah? So we stretch out. Obviously, if you've got an incline bench, if you've got an adjustment, uh, adjust, if you've got an adjustment bench, you can lift this up, up or down, but just for ease, let's keep it flat if you haven't got an adjustable one. Okay, so in this position here, feet flat on the ground, we're gonna hold the dumbbells, and one on each hand. And you're not, your arms aren't completely straight, there's a slight bend, but so just a gentle bend, gentle bend in the arm, so soft bend at the elbow, squeeze, feel the chest stretch, and from there, squeeze the dumbbells back together. So this really works, the chest right down the center. Okay, so are you ready for this one? We're gonna go for the lighter weights if you've got them, because it's, this is a much harder move than a press. Okay, and again, we're trying to do 10 to 12 reps. So, dumbbells start this like this together, slight bend in the elbows, stretch open the chest, from there, squeeze together, one, two, when you think about the muscles working here, three, four, Slow reps. Six. Seven, I'll be happy with a ten here. Three more. Eight. Ah. Oh, that's heavy. Nine, last one. Last one for me. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's enough. So, oh, that's really hard. This is well chested to work out. So again, it's easier when your arms are like towards you. So when you're, when you're allowing your shoulders like this, it just finds it, you'll find it's easy because it's, it's pulling with your, your kind of chest. So your, sorry, your, your, your shoulders are working with your anterior delta, but you really want to keep them. So rather than be there, bring them there so you're, Again, stretch them through the pecs, squeeze back together, dumbbells really just in, like directly above your, your chest. They're not back here. So again, fuck with the mechanics of it. Your body will find the easier route, the easier, less strenuous route, but find that point where you go right like that. That's it, that's where it's stretch, that's where it's stretching, and that's where it's contracting. Oh, okay, we've got two more sets on that. Two more sets. Well, we need a bit more rest. I'm getting a bit carried away. So this is really focused strength training. I'm not doing full body workouts. I'm like saying, right, today, quads, hamstrings, glutes, tomorrow, chest, whatever, so that you've got a full, you know, four or five days before you go back to that same muscle group. Right, okay, wait for step number two. Um, just thinking, is it worth moving the bench around a little bit just for one to show you the angle? Yeah, right, let's try that just to show you the different angle of the movement. All right, okay, so same again. I'm going for 10 reps. If that weight felt too light, maybe lift a bit heavier. Here we go. So, dumbbells are in line with the chest. They're not over my head, they're in line with my chest. I stretch, open the chest. Open it, stretch the pecs, and squeeze back together. One. Two. Three, good, squeeze them together. Stretch those pecs. Four. Five. Keep going. Count for ten. Sit right, slight bend in the elbow. Slight bend in the elbow. 
one, seven, last three, come on, one, ten, eight, two more reps, stretch, pull, nine, final one, I really, I think I've, you know, I've pushed myself. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, back into position. So, I've got one more then. I really think that strength training is incredible. It really does. It keeps your bone strong, your muscle strong. It obviously keeps, you know, it keeps you, basically the more muscle you have, the more lean muscle, the higher your, resting metabolic rate. So the aim going into you know, forever for all your life is to build or maintain lean muscle. It means you burn more energy at rest, and you can enjoy more food, you feel strong, you shape the body. Like it's hard though, you should be you know struggling on the second of the sort of seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth rep, those last few reps, they should be a challenge, it should be a push. And when you get to that point of like this is too hard, they're the reps you've got to do because they're the strength reps. The first set anybody can do it, I thought, oh, I can do that. It's eight, nine, ten, those last reps where you're really like, you know, giving everything you've got, your body's going, right, I've got to build up, I've got to get stronger. So then it breaks down, the muscles will break down, and they repair, they rebuild, and they, you know, build it back with more lean muscle, more tissue, more fibres. So this is different to the hit training in terms of the pace, but you can still completely transform your body. You can really strengthen and have an amazing physique. I prefer, to be honest, I like a combination of both. I like a combination of the high intensity body weight stuff, you know, the high intensity car, I also love the strength and I think it's a great combination to have both. Oh, right. Okay, third set. Third set. So remember, you're not fully bent, you're not straight, it's just a gentle bend in the arm so you feel the pec stretch and then squeeze back in with your chest. Here we go, right. Done, let's get it over. Not like this, but right over the chest. Work in the chest, focus on the chest. Let's go. Stretch open and pull back. One. Two. Hit these pecs now. Stretch them. Stretch them open and pull. Three. Four. Good. In line with the chest. Five, control it, slow reps. Slow down, slow down. Six, ah. Seven. Eight, last two. Big squeeze, come on, pull up. Ah. Okay, last one, Joe, last one. Last one, stretch, stretch. Use the chest, pull it in. Mm. Ah. Oh. Brutal. Brutal, right? I've done the three presses. I've done the three flies. I've now got another variation on the press, but we're going to go with the lighter ones. And what we're going to do now is get a little bit of a twist in it, so we're going to rotate as we come up. So it is a press. But, basically from here, so we're going into that 45 degree angle, so we're, again, we're not like this, our elbows aren't tucked in the body, just 45 degrees against the body. Stretch, and as you come up, start to rotate until the dumbbells meet, and you squeeze the dumbbells together so you feel your, your chest pop, like it will really activate. So press, rotate, squeeze, rotate, press, rotate, Squeeze the dumbbells, make them meet. Squeeze the plates together, and your chest will be popping. Okay, so we're going to go again with a lighter set. I'm not lifting them heavies again for this session. We're almost there. Okay, so picking up the head, or oh, the heaviest ones you got, or the mediums, whatever. Um, and so let me just demo it quickly again before we start together. 
Right, so you're going to come down. From there, you press. As you press up, you start to rotate, squeeze the dumbbells together, and repeat. So you sort of rotate down, press, squeeze them together, and repeat. So it takes a little bit of coordination. It feels unnatural to twist right out, but trust me, it's really good at targeting the chest. So we're going to go for 10 to 12 reps again. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So come up, press, rotate, the dumbbells being squeezed together, and repeat. Two, squeeze them together. Rotate, squeeze together. Three. Ah, rotate. Four. Ah, five. My chest is gone. Hang on, my chest is absolutely gone. All right, five. Come on, I've got to get a couple more. Come on, come on. Six. Ooh. Me done. I'm done at eight. That's, that's hard. So if you can do 10 to 12, go for it. But ah, that's killed me off, man. Oh, I'm happy with eight. I didn't have the temp. So if you if you know if you know you're form, you're losing form, you're all wobbling. Get them down. Don't force it. Ah, oh, that was hard. So two more then, and then we're gonna finish with two sets of press-ups to failure. What I mean is, no bench on the floor, just push-ups till you cannot push yourself up any higher. So it could be five, 10, 15, who knows? I don't know how many will manage after this, but that's the goal. Oh. I said we were gonna get chesty. You don't need many sets because you're not, you're not like, you know, you haven't got to smash it with 15, 20 sets. Like, what are we doing here? Three, six, nine, uh, three, six, nine, eleven. So, eleven big sets. Yeah, this is enough. Whew. Right, you ready again? So, pick them up, get that rotation if you can. Let's slow them down. So, now I'm on head and I'm doing eight, so I'm gonna. Try and just control the eight, I'm not going to go for ten. There's no chance, no chance. Alright, here we go. Ready, so down, press, rotate, dumbbells meet, squeeze, and change. Two. Three. Get that rotation if you can. Four. It does feel unnatural to rotate like that, but trust me, it's hitting the chest so good. Five. Six. Oh, two more. Seven. Final rep, slow. Big press. Ah, oh, that. That was so hard, that last set, for me. Cool. That was hard. Right, so let's get this bench out of the way, if you've got one. Oh, oh no. I am two of my Joker. What Joker, that's my second set. Right. You can see I'm not good at maths. Oh, right. Got carried away there. Right, so we are doing one more of those. A third set. I find that really difficult. I, I know, I, hand on heart, I know that this workout has, has strengthened my chest. I've built some muscles there because I didn't want to lie that, but I wanted, to, I wanted to push myself. So, you know, next time I come back to this, 
I'll start thinking to myself, right, if I've done 10 last time, can I do 12 reps today? Or can I do 24 kilos and just do eight reps? So I'm always trying to tinker with the reps or the weight. So just progression, you've got to think about that linear, sorry, not a linear line, you've got to try and think of progression. So can you just increase the intensity and progress? And that's the principle of overload. You're overloading the muscle and that's where the strength comes from. All right, I've got to pause this time, I think I'm on. All right. So, third set. Third set of the dumbbell press with that rotation. And then we're going to finish with our, our um, press up to failure. Right. Okay, here we go. So we go down, press, rotate, come up, dumbbells meet. One. Two. Super narrow, like a tricep sort of military style. So I'm not going to be elbows tucked in like this. I'm not going to be super wide, flaring them out. I'm just going to go in the middle, so sort of just inside of the mat, quite a neutral stance, neutral position with the arms. And see, so yeah, I'm not what well, I'm not tucking like this. I'm not super wide. I'm just at that kind of 45 degree angle, if you like, press to finish off the chest. So what we're going to aim to do is a set to failure. So I'm not sure if that's going to be 10 or 15 or I don't know, we'll see, but I'm going to try and go at a slow pace, slow on the eccentric and slow on the up just to control it and I want to burn myself as quick as I can. Okay, here we go. You ready? So you can do this on the knees if you're really, if your chest is exhausted, which it might be, you might have to do this on the knees. If you've got the strength, we lift up. Here we go, come on, I'm going to failure. So failure means I cannot push myself up anymore. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Oh. Six. Getting tough now, but. Oh. Seven. Eight. Nine, I'm getting close. I'm close. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Keep going if you can. Twelve. It's got to be the last one for me, I think. Last one. Oh. oh, that was it, 12. Oh. So I really hit, I hit failure there on 12. There was no way I'd do another rep. Oh, I tried. Oh. So good rest. This is the end of the workout now. So final set, last set of push-ups again. If you're really exhausted because your chest is well, but your triceps too, just go onto the knees. Go onto the knees, exactly the same. Just bend and press, keeping those abs engaged. My chest is, is pumped, proper, proper pumped up. Good workout, good session. Day number three. So tomorrow we're going to do back and shoulders, 
So again, we'll probably want two pairs of dumbbells and I am going to be using a bench because it's really good for sort of seated um, you know, single arm rows, um, reverse sort of flies and um, yeah, we can also do some seated shoulder press stuff. So if you can, get a bench or a chair and um, we will crack on. Okay, last set. All right, can I do 12 again? That's the question. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. One, slow reps, come on, chest to floor. Two, three, four, failure, complete failure. You can't push up anymore. Five, six, seven, seven, come on. Come on, almost. Eight. Ah, nine. Ah, ten. Come on. Ah, Eleven, last one. It's got to be last one. Last one, last one. Right, chest to floor. Push up. That's it. Oh. Well, we can't say that on a chest workout because it sure, sure was. Uh, well done for joining me, thank you so much. As I said, every workout, I promise you, every single muscle group we hit this month is going to get stronger. With good form, good technique, good weights. Don't try and you know, keep up with my weights. If you need to go lighter, please do it with good form, good technique. I'm trying to lift, this is the heaviest I can possibly lift with control. Get to that point where you're like, right, this is hard. Eight, nine, ten is hard, but I'm in control. Don't over-egg it and injure yourself, all right? It's really important. Strength has to be built. I've been doing this a long time, so I'm trying to get stronger, but yeah, don't over-egg it. Take it easy. Just think about getting to your comfort zone. Just get a little bit beyond it. A couple of reps or a couple of kilos beyond. Well done. I'll see you for day number four of the 21 Days of Strength Challenge tomorrow, right here on The Body Coach TV. If you want to see all the videos, hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell so every time it goes live you get emailed and you can come and join the workout. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.